So, a tornado came through last night and absolutely just destroyed part of the town, guys. Like, it is demolished over there. It was basically the opposite of this part of town. It definitely... Okay, well, you can see my shed's gone, but if you guys know the story behind my shed being gone, the tornado didn't take out my shed. And with this, this part of town didn't even get hit by the tornado. It was the other part of town. Anyway, this dude had an old 48 Chevy single axle, like almost a semi-truck. It, it, it was like kind of a rat rod one. It was pretty, it was in pretty horrible condition. It was rusty and stuff. And he had, and then he also had a, I think it was a 48 Ford F100 too. That was again, like really rusty. And they're sitting outside of his shop. And then tornado came, tons of rain came. And it just blew the trucks and cars and washed the trucks and cars into his pond. They're kind of sitting on the edge of his pond. And one of them, he said, is just completely underwater, which we got to go tow out, which... It'll be interesting because these are some this is these are some heavy vehicles uh, to tow out. But I'm arriving to work today. I said, dude, I could get there first thing in the morning, so that's what we're doing. I'm gonna park the truck, and what we're gonna do is take the tow truck. Now he said the 48 Chevy, the semi, was running before this. He could get that running. It was running, but now once he started it and it's halfway underwater, he can't start it, and he doesn't really want to start it. So. Oh, he doesn't he's just like tired of them. He just wants them out of there and honestly I may try to like buy them off of them It wouldn't be bad because I got a buddy who owns the custom truck shop RCC That this would be right up his alley and I know he does a lot of barn finds and stuff And this is basically a barn find it was on the side of the barn besides the tornado just wipe this out So uh, we're gonna go there now. Let me shut the door. We got to get going man money's money We got to be making money so that way we get our shed back because I don't know what happened uh, we built our shed uh, on a contract, and then uh, we couldn't afford anymore. And so our sh they came and took all the materials from the shed because I couldn't pay the monthly the monthly loan on the shed. So we need to make some money. I know you see in the upper right hand corner, it has ninety eight million dollars. The reason I always leave ninety eight million dollars is because like when I'm buying and selling trucks, like it'll take away like if I say I have two hundred thousand dollars for the shop, and then I go buy a truck for like role play and stuff. Well, that takes away $100,000 and doesn't add up. So I always just keep my money at like 98 million or 99 million or, you know, you know, something crazy like that. So I always like doing that. And now everybody, like when I'm always like, I'm always like, dude, I'm broke, man. I'm broke. And everybody's like, squad, look in the upper right hand corner, man. You're not broke. But I, I honestly forget the upper right hand corner sometimes. Now, after this, after this job we do. We may have enough money to buy another tow truck. There's a couple that I've been looking at here. Let me pull off the side of the road and actually let's go to the shop. I'll show you guys once we get to the, the truck dealership, what they have and what I could buy. And it's about like a 20 minute drive across town. It's kind of across the map, to be honest, where this tornado hit. But as always, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. I seriously appreciate you guys watching every video. It just, I don't know. I, I, I just don't, it's something I don't say enough, like at all. So thank you. A lot of people just like the video before they even watch it. And it means so much that you do that, that you trust me. The video is going to be decent and you like it before you watch it. That's just means a lot. Seriously. By the way. Okay. So I have school starting. I'm in college. If you guys know you had past four years, I've been in college, but anyways, or past three years, technically I have school starting August 26th. If you guys are in school, some of you guys are out of school. Some of you guys are in school. Some of you guys haven't even started school. When does school start for you guys? I start August 26th. I'm always curious to know because basically once school starts, my views drop a little bit. Like you can like tell when school starts. It's kind of funny. And you can tell when school gets out too because views go up. Obviously a lot more people have a lot more time and stuff. It's, it's, I don't know. I can usually tell when school starts based on views kind of going down a little bit. It's funny. But let me know when school starts for you guys. Um, okay. So, okay. So here's our options right now. Now this for farm sim mods, there may be a couple other tow trucks out there. There may be. But right now, I have the B61 Wrecker. Now, I could get this Lodestar Wrecker, but it's basically the exact... Oh, all these are $56,000. I guess money doesn't... We don't really... Because we have $98 million, money doesn't really matter that much. But, ah, oh, dude, I was hoping these would be a little less money. Anyways, it doesn't matter, I guess. But the Lodestar Wrecker is basically the same as this. Like, I don't... Even though it's kind of cool, it's different. We may be able to get that. I kind of want to get this F550 Wrecker. Which would be kind of cool. It does the same thing as the B61 though. As this Mac over here. Or we could get the M2 rollback. I got to test out this puppy. This may be a cool truck to have. The question is. Does this winch actually work? If the winch works. 
This would be pretty darn cool to have. I'd love to have this here. That would just be perfect to have as another truck to haul stuff back with. Especially like, say we buy these trucks today. Well, here, once we get there, once say we buy the trucks, man. Like, how am I gonna haul these trucks back, you know? I have no idea how I'm gonna get them back. I can't put them on the back of this. I'll have to just tow them down the road individually one by one. So we have about a 10 minute drive until we're there. I'll see you guys once we get close. So this is the area that just got completely wiped out by a tornado. It didn't seem too bad until I pulled up here. There's starting to be some down trees. It's almost like the corner of this, this little mini town here. What the, is there a train coming? Okay, now we're good. There's definitely no train coming because there's a tree across the track. Holy crap, dude. There are trees down all over the place here. And holy crap, dude, their yard is just a mud mess through here. Jeez, man. This got demolished. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just park here, and then he said around back is where the pond was, and the pond's like flooded completely right now. It's a lot lower. It's usually a lot lower than it is right now. Okay. So we're gonna park here for now. Let's figure this out. I'm gonna first go talk to him quick. He was like, man, dude, I'm glad to see you so we can get these cars out of my pond. There's probably like gas and oil starting to leak in this pond. You can see this pond is a lot higher than it should be. But, oh, okay. So what we got here is this is the Chevy. He did. He gave me a little tour. This is the Chevy here. Now, he has a trailer connected to it, which you could take off, but he would like to just pull them all, yank them all out at once. So that's what we're going to try to do. I think what I'm going to do is back up the wrecker probably to like right here. And then attach my winch. There's a, Luckily, there's a hitch on the back. We'll attach right there. We should be able to yank this out. This thing he said he can't, he couldn't get started at all. So I'll see if I can get started once I pull it out of the water. And then, okay, a tree fell on top of, he said it was back here. The Ford. The 48 Ford. It might have been a 51. Holy crap, dude. This thing is underwater down here. Jeez. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is... I, let me see if I can't winch. Dude, you know what would be cool? Is if I could winch out this giant tree here. And then I could pull the Ford out. Because I got to... I don't know. Somehow I got to get this tree out of here. Uh, whether we cut it up or we drag it out. I don't know if I could... Could I winch this out? That would be really cool if I could. I'm going to see if I can't winch that tree up. If I could winch that up. Just drag it out with a Mac. Man, that would be perfect. Heck, I could move that tree for him too. We could do a lot of different stuff. <laughs> the old Mac. Come to the rescue. Okay, let's turn the flashes on just because they look sweet. Especially when you're around buildings and you see them light up around the buildings. Yeah, dude. He, he literally said he had like one of the nicest lawns in town. And now it's just completely wrecked. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to find like the thickest part of the tree. Okay, nice. This is going to work. You know what? That's not how we do it. We got to... There's no way that's going to work because I got to grab like somewhere up here. Otherwise, we're just going to be. There we go. Oh, <laughs> dude, I didn't. I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not. This works perfect. Okay, so um, let me start by just slowly winching. So here we go. Yes. Seems like it's pulling. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I should be able to release some rope while I go, or like cable, I guess. Uh, left shift X. There we go. So I'm releasing rope. I'm going to pull up like a ways. That's probably enough. And then now I'm going to do a fast switch. So it's a left shift Z. Okay, let's see if we can't get this. Nice. <laughs> Look at that, dude. The Mac isn't even struggling at all. It's perfect. I honestly like... For some reason, like doing these winching videos or just like barn finds where we winch stuff up on trailers, I love it. I don't know. This, this winch that actually came up with or maybe some other people worked on it too. It's just, it's just fantastic. Makes it a lot more fun. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. This is a big tree too. Okay. Um, somehow I got to drag this somewhere. Uh, let me go ask him where we should drag it because I got to figure out a place. Okay, he told me to just put in the grove out here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to see if the Mac can't pull it. Come on. There we go. I'm just going to drag it out to the grove just right through here. He said he'd chop them up later. Okay, perfect, dude. That worked good. Okay, so now what I got to do is where is this line? Okay, it's connected right there, is it? Yep, there we go. I heard it go. Nice. So now that's disconnected. Okay, so 
The question is, what truck do I try to pull out first? The, the harder ones probably get, I don't know, because one of them's lighter, but it's stuck down there really deep, and the other ones, here, you know what, I'm gonna just quick winch this out, holy crap, we almost got stuck there, <laughs> I thought we were gonna get stuck, I'm gonna quick winch this tree and just pull this through a little more, this tree that went down, just so we have, like, enough room for everything. Mayberry, is that Mayberry? Mayberry Heavy Re Rescue Recovery Specialist. Okay, there we go, she's ready to rock and roll, boys. Okay, so if I do this correctly, left shift Z, should be no problem. Nice. Hopefully it doesn't get caught on that stump. Please don't get caught. Okay, it goes through it. Perfect. I was thinking we were going to be screwed there because there's there's no way this thing is pulling. Actually, yeah, there's no way this, this thing is pulling out a stump. There's no way. Nice. This winch is so handy, dude. Okay, so now disconnect that. And then I'm going to pull the Mac around. And we're going to try to pull out. I think we're going to go for the semi and the trailer first. It's it's the heaviest, but it's it's barely stuck in there. Honestly, if he could fire this up, he could almost just drive it out of there. Okay, so here we go. I'm set up right there. I'm gonna connect. Oh, what? I heard it go. There we go. Okay, nice. We actually see a rope or a line now. Perfect. What the? It's connected really high on there though. What? What the heck? What did I do, dude? What is that? I've never seen anything like that. It's like. It's the log chain connected to this. <laughs> okay, it's gonna work. I mean, it's, it, I guess it's gonna work. I literally, I don't know how the heck that happened. I don't want to disconnect it, really. I've never seen that happen. Maybe it's because we started winching logs first, and so it has to somehow add the log chain. That's weird, but hopefully this pulls still. So here we go. I'm just gonna hit Z to winch. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good, man. That is not good. Okay, if we can't get this, we may have to pull the old stump a -rui. Back up to a stump so we have more support and then start winching. Because it's usually the truck that can't stay put, but the winch can handle it. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to disconnect this, come over to this stump, see if we can't pull from this way, dude. There's... I thought for sure this would do it. Okay, we are backed up to a stump. Let's see if this works. By the way, if you're looking for a game PC, check out Apex Gaming PCs. It's the first link in the description you're trying to find one okay so it said it was connected so now it's connected over there but it doesn't show the chain animation i really like when it shows the chain anim okay oh what the we're getting closer we're getting closer down there okay okay well <laughs> let's see if that works then there we go hopefully this works but anyways it's the first link in the description if you use code squad you can get 10 percent off on anything across apex game pc's website any pc they have you can get 10 percent off use code squad at checkout okay so now holy crap dude what if i try like disconnecting the trailer okay here we go let's see if this works i disconnected the trailer dude i know it's something with this winch it's not even the truck it's something with this winch like just being locked here what is that I have no idea the physics going down here or anything. There we go. I got it connected. Okay, so I hit left shift B to reset it. And I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work. Here we go. Okay, turn the winch on first. Dude, it's, it's slowly coming up. Okay, hold on. If I get behind this stump, I think it's going to work now. Okay, here we go. Yes, it's moving. I told you guys. <laughs> it's slowly moving up there. But, oh shoot, we're pushing the trailer now. You know what? I should keep that trailer connected. But this is kind of working out good. Because it's moving the trailer. It's literally like whipping the trailer around so I can connect to it next time. Come on. There we go. <laughs> nice, dude. We're getting this thing out. He's pulling like crazy. The trailer wants to come with it, too. Here, let me uh let me turn the wheels so it kind of actually turns with it there we go so so it should kind of almost turn up the hill that that should make it a little easier nice she's bouncing she's doing the hop okay that's good enough that's all i need okay so now so here's the 48 chevy he said he had this truck around before it went in the water We'll see if I can't get this to start. I would love to have this thing start. And 
you know what? That'd be perfect if I bought it off him. Because maybe I could buy the trailer too. Buy the trailer off of him. And then I have something to hold back this. If I could get this thing winched out. The Ford. If I could get the F100 winch, winched out. Which is just stuck really far deep below the pond. If I could get that winched out. That could just load it up on here. Be perfect. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get this thing stirred up. Come on. Come on, puppy. There we go. <laughs> she fired up, man. <laughs> She fired up. Okay, so holy crap, dude. This thing has some beefy tires too. This is perfect. This is honestly perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is pull around and let's see if we can't get this connected to the big tax trailer. I can't believe that thing started. You guys saw how much water it was in. There we go. This is a perfect big tax trailer for it too. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this around and if I can't get you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to the owner and see if I can't purchase these off of them. I seriously think, and like right now, I don't even know if I can get that F100 out of there. So it's kind of risky on my part, but I'm going to see just right now if I can't buy both of these off of them. Okay, so he wanted 20 grand total for everything. And if you think about it, when the the trailer included, trailer's probably pushing, that's a nice big tech trailer. It hasn't been used much at all and it has a winch on it. That trailer's been probably pushing eight, 10 grand at least. I would guess for this big tex. Uh Maybe that's new price. Maybe it's a little less than that. But this is a nice big tex trailer. So when you think about that, I I counted them with 15. And we agreed on $16,000. And so I was like, okay. So like, let's say the trailer's worth eight with the winch. Then we got this truck that's running. We'll say is worth five. And then we'll say the F100 is worth three. That puts me out a little room to sell to the to my buddy over there. My buddy wants to buy one of these trucks off of me. I'll give him a good price still. I think it's fairly good. That's, especially with that trailer. That trailer's worth a lot. Okay, the moment of truth. <laughs> Things are gonna get a little wet. We gotta dive down there. Okay, let's see how this does. We are connected. Now I gotta drag this thing out. Winch is on, we're ready to rock and roll. Oh, we're kind of moving, aren't we? No, okay, only our max moving. Now are we moving up? I feel like that's moving up a little bit. Come on. Come on, Max. Stay put. Here, I'm going to get in the truck. See if I can't pull forward a little bit. Come on. Come on. Okay. We had to go back to the magical stump again. Because that thing was pulling up. But we did. You can see we moved the truck a little bit. But the Mac was moving down at the same time. So here we go. Now let's see if this works. Yep. And just stays put. Oh, shoot. Maybe not. Oh, no. It's moving. It's slowly moving, but our Mac is gonna... Oh my gosh, dude. There we go. Come on. Stay put. Nice. Okay, so one thing about this truck is the guy started working on it and he put new shoes on it completely. That's pretty much the only thing he do did to it. He started working on it and he found a nice pair of tires and rims and he put it on it. So everything like that's good besides the body is just complete rust, man. This thing's a rust bucket. Okay, we got that up there. Now, what I'm going to try doing is getting... If I could get this loaded up, this would just be perfect. If I could get the Chevy loaded up on this trailer, because there is a winch here. So that means... How's this going to go down? I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind getting that truck over here just lined up on flat ground and then loading up the trailer with the winch. Okay, everything is situated. Now, what I got to do is just attach the winch... Just right here. Oh, oh, shoot, wrong one. Okay, maybe I gotta get that thing out of there. I'm trying to attach this winch to that, not not, not this one. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna try to park this really far away so it's not in range at all of that. And then hopefully that winch actually works. I think we gotta drive it down the street a little ways. Okay, now let's see if this works. Here we go. So winch right there, nice. Okay, so now all I gotta do Let's fire up the truck, turn on the winch, here we go. Nice. There we go, and as long as I keep the wheel straight, this should load up straight. I think it will. Whew. Look at that beauty. Dude, something about winching vehicles. I've said this, I know I said this earlier in the video. It's just like super fun. I don't know what it is, especially when it's going up on a trailer too. 
Look how smooth that worked. Besides the tires aren't rotating, it's just literally sliding on there. It, it's fine though, it doesn't matter that much. Okay, I, I don't know, I should probably disconnect this. So let's disconnect that. Maybe I should have kept it on, I guess. We'll shut off the winch, fold this guy up, and then we can head back to the lot. Now I gotta call up my buddy at RCC and see if he wants to purchase these. Actually, what I'm gonna do is maybe take some pictures of them right now and just kind of tell him the story of the rundown and what I'll sell him to him for. That way he has some room, some room, some margin to fix these up and then resell them over at his dealership. I think it would just be perfect. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Seriously, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. I kind of enjoy doing like these. It, this wasn't too much of a barn find. It kind of was a barn find, but I, I enjoy doing these videos. So hopefully you guys liked it. And hey, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.